newest Nick, Matt Ryan, recently spoke out about joining the Knicks and his chemistry with OG Ananobi, Jalen Brunson, and Josh Hart. We're going to break down all of these latest reports and so much more today. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button now and make sure you have notifications turned on so you don't miss a second of the new content. And now, let's get started. Matt Ryan speaks out on joining the Knicks. When you're a native New Yorker and your dream growing up was to join the Knicks and you finally accomplish that goal, of course you're going to be excited. Of course you're going to be happy. And of course you're going to want to speak about joining the Knicks. Now, I was expecting all of that. What I was not expecting, though, was for Matt Ryan to speak about his chemistry and his familiarity with Jalen Brunson, OG Ananobi, and Josh Hart. Let's roll the following clip to hear what Matt Ryan has to say about joining the Knicks. Roll it. I'm in New Orleans, um, obviously got waived there. Started talking to the Knicks pretty quickly after that um, and just trying to figure out the best route to um, possibly become a Nick. And it seems like we did that. Um, and so I'm just very, very excited to be a Nick right now. Were you able to work out in between, like stay? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Um, actually, my first, you know, my first preseason game down in New Orleans, I actually rolled my ankle a little bit. So they were, you know, extre I'm extremely grateful to them for doing my rehab, uh, making sure I was staying on top of everything. And then I came up here probably the past couple of weeks. Um, obviously, had to go through the G League draft, uh, myself and Landry, to to be in the building. So. Uh, spent the last week doing the training camp with the G League. Got in even better shape than I was, and uh, now I'm ready to go. Have you, do you have any relationship with any of the guys on the roster? I'm trying to think, did you play with? Yes, yeah, so I, I played with Cat, Cat. Uh, in Minnesota oh, that's right. that's the right. year before last. Um, got a chance to get a run in with Jalen uh, sometime in September in New York. Um, but just familiar with these guys. I mean, Josh, Josh played for the Lakers and Pelicans, uh, similar teams that I've played on. Uh, you know, familiarity with Mikhail. He's played with some close friends of mine. So, uh, and we're all around the same age. I mean, we, and I, actually, I played with OG in a Derby Classic. Our senior year was an all star event. And uh, <laughs> ever since then, uh, every time we see each other, it's like, man, just proud of you. Great yeah. to see you. So, uh, there's familiarity. Uh, you know, I'm in year four now. So, they kind of know what I'm doing. I know what they're doing. Um, you know, and I'm lucky to be part of this group right now. Can you talk to guys like Precious and. Shout out to newest Nick, Matt Ryan, for opening up and letting us know how it feels like to be a Nick. He also let us know about the familiarity he already has with Jalen Brunson, Josh Hart, OG Ananobi, Mikel Bridges, and Carl Anthony Towns. Now, I don't know about you guys, but that was the biggest takeaway I got from this interview. He already has chemistry with some of the key players we have on this team. And if the Knicks can find a way to play him consistently off the bench, we can have another weapon that we can utilize that we can throw into games and convert on three-pointers. Because if Matt Ryan is open in the corner or on the perimeter and he's playing out there with the likes of Jalen Brunson, OG Ananobi, or Mikel Bridges, players that can draw multiple defenders toward them and also make other players better around them by getting them open looks. They can do that. And if they're playing with Matt Ryan, it's going to be a near automatic that every time he catches the ball, he's going to be open. And if he's open, he's hitting that three-point shot, he's converting on those points, and we're running back and we're playing defense. As he said in that interview, he ended the interview by saying, the Knicks already understand what he brings to the table, and we understand what he is for this team. He is a three-point shooter. He is a three-point assassin, a specialist, somebody that we need on this team any single time we need shooting off the bench. But he also understands what type of team he's joining. He's not joining a team like the Pelicans. He's now on a championship contender. And now he has a specific role he needs to play. And that role is being the three-point sniper that we need off the bench if we're not getting any scoring. And newsflash, for the last couple of games, the Knicks bench has not been giving you any scoring. The last game, we only had three points off the bench. Those points coming from a three from Tyler Kolick. And then after that second quarter, Tyler Kolick did not play another minute in that game. More than anything else, what we need to do is give Tom Thibodeau players that will actually play during games. Matt Ryan, being a four-year vet, 
being a sniper from three. You got to figure that Tom Thibodeau will play him during games when we need somebody off the bench. Hopefully as soon as tonight when we face the Atlanta Hawks. If we're not getting any bench scoring and we need more of that, then Tom Thibodeau will have to bite the bullet and play Matt Ryan earlier than he expected. I don't have any issue with that, especially if he's going to have an impact. And shooting the way he does from three, he's definitely going to give the Knicks the shooting that we need and give us the impact that we need off the bench. That way, it doesn't only fall to Deuce McBride or campaign or some of our rookies because it's clear Tom Thibodeau will not play the rookies. He'd rather play players that have experience or that he trusts. Now, he may not trust Matt Ryan yet, but Ryan has the experience in this league that Tom Thibodeau can put his confidence behind. And that's why adding him to this team, adding him to this bench right now in place of Landry Shamit gives me all the confidence in the world to say that I believe that Tom Thibodeau will play Matt Ryan tonight. If for no other reason, it's because a seven-man rotation cannot get the job done. You need consistent scoring from your bench and you need consistent scoring from your starters in order to be in games and to win games. If you're only relying on scoring from your starters, you're never going to be able to win games consistently. And even if you do win games, it's likely going to be based off of luck and nothing else. You need scoring off the bench. And if Deuce McBride is not giving it to you, if you don't have Preston Achua, if you don't have Mitchell Robinson, if you don't have campaign, if you refuse to play the rookies, then you have to play the only other vet you have left. And that's going to be Matt Ryan at this point in time. If you play Matt Ryan, you play him alongside the right players on this team, you're going to get the best impact out of him. He's going to be able to convert on three-pointers for you. And he's going to have that impact that you're looking for off the bench. A similar impact, not the same impact, but at least a similar impact that Landry Shamit was supposed to give you before he got injured. He's not going to have the same chemistry with the bench unit as Landry Shamit does. He's not going to give you that same level of defense that Landry Shamit can give you. But what he can do way better than Shamit is shoot that three-point ball. And the Knicks aren't stupid. They know his strengths and his weaknesses. He can shoot that three ball extremely well, but he doesn't have that great of a defensive game and he does not have a great mid-range game. So don't put him in those situations. If you're going to play Matt Ryan off the bench, you have to play him around the roster that can utilize and maximize that three-point shot. And that means you're going to have to play him around players like Jalen Brunson, Mikel Bridges, OG Ananobi, Carl Anthony Towns, players that can draw multiple defenders and allow your corner shots, allow your perimeter shots to remain open for your shooters. Shooters like Matt Ryan, he will thrive if he's put in that type of offensive environment. And I think the Knicks have the players to do that if Tom Thibodeau is willing to make that adjustment. That's what we're going to have to wait and see on. But Matt Ryan, what a story he is for the NBA. We have to remember, in 2021, shout out to Nick's Muse for giving us this information as well, too. He was working at a cemetery in Yonkers, New York, and delivering DoorDash. Now, he makes his hometown debut for the Knicks, potentially tonight, when they face the Atlanta Hawks. Now, I'm hoping that does happen. We cannot go in with a seven-man rotation or a 7.5-man rotation. That's what he basically did last game when he played Tyler Kolek for six minutes and we didn't see him for the rest of the game. We cannot have that happen this time around. We have to play at least 9 to 10 players. I'm saying 9 to 10 because I don't think Tom Thibodeau will play 10. He might play 9. He might play 8. We have no idea what's going to happen tonight. But you have to assume getting a player like Matt Ryan on your team will force Tom Thibodeau to expand the rotation and play at least 9 players or 10 players. That's what I'm hoping for. Another thing we have to look out for Matt Ryan here tonight, if he does debut for the Knicks tonight against the Hawks, he will be wearing number 37 for the Knicks, a number that has never been worn in franchise history. You got to think about it. Out of all the numbers that have been donned in the orange and blue over the last few years, nobody has ever worn number 37. That's a first for this franchise. I could never expect to hear that, but here we are. Shout out to Matt Ryan for becoming a Nick, explaining what it feels like to become a Nick, wearing number 37. I know he's going to do that number justice, and hopefully he comes off the bench for the Knicks tonight against the Atlanta Hawks and lights them up. Gives us three after three after three. That's what I'm going to be looking for because on this Knicks team, that's going to be his specific role. When you're on a championship contender, it's not about what you can give this Knicks team and the miniature on the floor. 
It's how well you can play your role when you're on the floor for this next team. And I think Matt Ryan is going to shine as the three-point specialist for this next team off the bench. But what about you guys? What do you think about these recent comments made by newest Nick Matt Ryan about joining the Knicks and his chemistry with Jalen Brunson, OG Ananobi, Mikel Bridges, Carl Anthony Towns, and a number of other Nick players? Let me know how you feel about that in the comments section below, guys, because honestly, I would love to hear from you. But that's going to do it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and smash that like button, leave a comment below. And of course, guys, please subscribe to the channel. Until next time, Nick fans, take care of yourself, your families, and each other. Peace and love.